Open 11 finding possible treatments for cancer on the ocean floor. Florida Atlantic University researchers are trying to do just that. And News Channel 5's Michelle Casada is live with how they're putting their research into action. Michelle? Michael Kelly, researchers just recently discovered certain types of sponges right off the coast of Fort Lauderdale that are showing properties that may help patients with cancer and Alzheimer's disease. They've already been testing the sea sponge chemicals on cancerous cells. Some currently battling cancer say it's offering hope. Melissa Taylor is finally back to a more regular schedule at her swim school. Only now that I'm in remission am I starting to um, have to deal with what happened to me emotionally. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with an aggressive type of breast cancer. It took away time from her small business and her two kids. What I've gone through in the past two years, I don't wish upon anyone. But now, there's hope that maybe others diagnosed won't have to fight as hard. They've also evolved very sophisticated ways to repair cells that have been, you know, that have been damaged. Shirley Pomponi at FAU's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute is talking about sea sponges. Researchers have collected thousands of sponges off the coast of Florida for decades, but just recently discovered some have chemicals that attack cancerous cells and even Alzheimer's disease. Showing some activity against a, a, a process that's involved in Alzheimer's. The chemicals are put into cancerous cells, and under a microscope, scientists can see the cells being isolated and broken down. The reaction is offering new hope. If there's new promise coming from the ocean, that's just so exciting. FAU researchers say the next step is to try and partner with pharmaceutical companies to get these chemicals into clinical trials. They are planning another cruise hunt in August. Kelly? Michelle, thank you.